If you don't think I'm a great actor, then what the fuck are you doing watching my goddamn channel? You motherfucking piece of shit! See what I mean? Life is too short for all this bullshit. I see you hating every other day. Here's the thing. You never see me being genuinely hateful towards Ryan Higa. That's because I have a decent amount of respect for him. He gets millions of views and he deserves them. Then there's Smosh. And yeah, they also get millions of views. However, I don't hate people just because they get more views than me. I hate some people because they do stuff like this. But I'm not concerned for what you think that you've learned. Cause I rather be happy and smiling. That doesn't fucking rhyme, Greg. Okay, thank you. Get the camera off of me. What would you like us to do, sir? You call. Um, I called my sister and she told me to just leave, to just move away. That's I mean, this probably is, this a good is, idea. Yeah, um, but here's the weird thing. Um, I, I can't stop paying utilities here. I can't. I can't shut it off because that would be a legal eviction, according mm -hmm. to the people I talk to. Yep. Is this dumpable? Yes, yes, absolutely. This is definitely dumpable fat. Gross. Ooh, you like it when I dig it out like that, don't you, baby? Like, oh my god. What even? Like, uh, how? How did you become this way? You are so fat. There's like probably like 3,000 dead animal fragments inside your body just floating around. And I'm saying the following for the sake of comedy. It's not personal, but have you ever considered auditioning for post-transformed Fiona from Shrek? All you basically have to do is dye your hair red and paint your skin green. <laughs> says the only thing they hate about rice gum is that his fans or his supporters, which are huge, keep sending hate to these kids. Oh, okay. So he's just another Leafy is here or other YouTube cunt who thinks it's okay to bully children despite them being an adult. So long as they get paid, it doesn't matter who they bully, right? Small children make the best targets, right, YouTube predators? Okay, one, I refuse to say that you remind me of a drug addict. And two, your shirt says, come on inside. It's not an appropriate shirt. Is there even a point to makeup if you're not light-skinned? It's way harder to see pimples with darker skin. Your skin is a natural concealer. It's called having superior genetics. Asian girl with near-perfect skin? Oh my gosh, that's like unheard of. Said no one. I mean, <laughs> awkward I said that right before I showed this picture. Let's talk about how not funny rape is. Uh-oh. Controversial video. Rape isn't funny. Not even if a seven foot tall man walked in this room, bit me over this desk and started pounding my butt right in front of you guys. It still wouldn't be hilarious. Hundreds of thousands of women are victimized every single year. And one of the biggest reasons why this problem exists is males clearly not caring about what women feel, what women want, and the rights women deserve. First off, I will say that you look like my ex-wife. Secondly, I'd rate you a 5 out of 10. Meanwhile, this girl's like, um, 8 out of 10? Yeah, solid 8. But Greg, what if she's 15 years old? Uh, well, last time I checked, we're allowed to have opinions about people. It's not a perverted thing. Small children make the best targets, right, YouTube predators? Most 30-year-old men like myself would see a little boy and go, who gives a shit, let's move on. But not all grown men react the same way. Some pieces of shit like Leafy is here see children like Jacob and think, hey, why don't we make entire videos humiliating this child? Because that's what all you fuck monsters watching this video want, don't you?
Hello, I spoke with Lainey and she agreed to me making this video. Lainey and I are getting separated, not necessarily divorced just yet, but a lot of things are going to be changing in our lives and we will no longer be in a romantic relationship with one another. showed some text messages. It was the girl I gave a full body massage to and cuddled with behind my wife's back because I thought there was no chance of saving my marriage and knowing how lonely and desperate I get when I'm all alone. I figured I'd be better off with her than some random rebound. I asked her if she still wanted to come back and told her she should only come back if she was 100% sure. She said she was 100% sure she wanted to come back. I also wonder if the criticism she'd get by being with me. She stated this, again trying to ensure me that everything would be fine. Foolishly figured it'd be okay to have a female topless in my videos as well. I've never actually done that before in the past, but I figured my wife and I at least trusted each other enough to understand that I was going to have a female be topless in my video for professional reasons because I'm a legitimate filmmaker. Now here's where some people might think I was a little bit inappropriate. There was a breast groping scene in the sketch. But again, I thought it was okay because I was playing a female character as well. As many of you know, my wife and I have been separated for quite a few days now. She got upset over a YouTube video I made, kicked me out of my own house, but she and I have at least come to an agreement that I can come to this house to record videos. So a lot has gone down since the last video. Most of it has been online. Here's someone celebrating that Lainey and I broke up. It's a very non-sociopath thing to do. Someone saying I was emotionally abusing Lainey. Someone else saying, I guess Lainey got too old for you. You. Come to me. Almost there. Wait, what? That's right, baby. Your lips taste like cherry. Oh my god, no! This feels so right without whiskers. Hello, I'm Anision, and I'd like to address all the I Betrayed My Wife videos. These videos have all gotten a lot of attention, but unfortunately a lot of people don't seem to realize that the ones uploaded to the Anision channel were actually jokes. Some individuals publicly embarrassed themselves by taking those videos too seriously, and as a result, used them to attack me as if I wasn't joking in those videos. Oh, here's something totally unrelated, but it was posted 10 hours ago. This person saying, real YouTube fans remember when Onision filmed his wife having a mental breakdown. One, she wasn't my wife, nor was she ever my wife. And two, I was informed that she herself admitted it was fake. But things I say you guys call me a bully, obsessed, and jealous. But you forgot one thing. You see, when I make a normal chill video, I get around 100,000 views. But when I make a crazy dramatic video, I get around a million views. And when I get a million views, I get more attention, more subscribers, and more profit. Hey. Um, I am dreading making this video. Miranda sings divorce. Notice that it's the top search suggestion? It's because you losers love drama. You love seeing no doubt millionaires like Miranda fail at life. Sure, she might be prettier than you, but at least you're not going through a divorce like she is. Oh my gosh, is she really crying? That makes me feel so much better about myself. Where did I go wrong? I lost a friend. Okay, one, that's at least $10,000. Which is stupid, because love isn't about money, it's about each other. things self-harmers say. Why does everything have to be so hard? Really? Everything is so hard? Obviously you don't have Parkinson's. You know that constant shaky condition? So complaining about your life was easy, wasn't it? You keep it on the inside because that's the safest place to hide. Actually, I think the safest place to hide is a bunker all by yourself. That way no one can hurt you emotionally or physically. Which means I just epically proved you wrong. <laughs> Tumblr apparently went ape shit bananas <laughs> and every pampered little white girl who cuts themselves is freaking out. So uh, today let's go ahead and look up self-harm. And I'm only doing this because you guys clearly want me to. I mean, if you didn't want a video just like yesterday's video, why is everybody looking at me? There's this thing called the peace box. This is the area of my body I repeatedly asked my wife to stimulate. She refused, saying she thought it was weird. You guys saw me break down crying in the first I Betrayed My Wife video. I'm done crying now. This woman was willing to stimulate my prostate, to deliver to me something no one has ever offered me before. And not even 12 hours ago, I let her do that to me. Really, I'm just happy that I finally found a person who's willing to stimulate my prostate and not judge me for it. That and most every person I've ever seen claim to be bulimic, super fat. Obviously it rarely works. You become obsessed with the number you see. Oh, so you're a woman. <laughs> if every other female I knew focused as much on her finances as she did the number that shows up on her scale, they would all be millionaires. Sad truth. 